This tutorial is going to help you learn about outlets and actions for iOS programming. This particular example worked through as a very simple iPhone application that's going to use outlets and actions to create a string there so your iPhone can talk to you. And the user puts in their name, clicks the talk to me button, you can see that the string is created. Let's take a look how this particular application is created. First thing you want to do is open up Xcode. Select Create a New Xcode Project. Well, for this one, we want to choose Single View Application under the iOS Application Selection area. Click Next. Now you want to give your product a name. I'm going to name mine Hello to You. Click Next. Tell Xcode where you want to save the project folder. And what we're going to start with is go ahead and open up your storyboard file. And go ahead and drag a couple of labels onto the screen. We can make these look nicer in a second. We want to be able to have a text field so the user can enter in their name and a button so we can apply an action so we can build that string. Now for the labels, you want to change those labels to whatever you want your screen to say. For mine, I'm just going to do what I had earlier and I'm just going to type in there, well let's change it up a little. I'll say good morning. And I'm going to move the second label I drug to be aligned with that first string, that first label. And what I'm going to do is instead of it reading label, I'm just going to put kind of a placeholder. This doesn't even have to be there, but I'm just going to type in your name and that will make it a little easier to see what's going on when you get this code up and running. You can get it all lined up and work on that later. Now I want the input box to be wide enough so that someone can enter in their name easily. And for the button, I want it to, to say talk to me to indicate something or refer to something that's going to happen when the user clicks that button. So now you have your basic interface built and now it's time to learn about um, connecting outlets, actions, and how to actually get this iPhone program to do something for us. Let's go ahead and open up our editor and what we need to do is connect our fields to our viewcontroller.h file. So to do that you just hold down the control button so you hover over the field that you want to connect. In this case I'm connecting the label which will output the user's name. I'm holding down the control key and I'm dragging over and where I want to stop is right underneath that line that starts with at interface. Let go and it's going to allow me to define an outlet. Now this particular outlet um, is going to refer to user output so I'm going to name it user output. I want to make sure the connection is outlet. I gave it a name user output. The type is a UI label and my storage is going to be weak. I'm going to say connect. Now I'm going to do the same thing here. I'm going to hold down the control key while I drag over and it's going to go next in line. I'm going to name this user input. Again the connection is an outlet. The name I just chose user input. 
UI text field and the storage is weak. Now the last thing to do is to connect an action to this button so that when the button is clicked something will actually happen. Again I hold down my control key and I'm dragging over and listing it in sequence there. My connection I need to make sure to change it to an action And for the name, I, I want to name it something that refers to what it's going to do. It's going to set the output. So I'm naming it set output. I want to make sure the event is set to touch up inside. And then I want to click connect. Now I'm ready to finish out the logic of this program and write some code inside my .m file that's going to make something happen when the user does click that button. Now in order to do that I need to get over to my .m file so I can just click through locate my .m file and what I want to do is go down to my set output method give myself a little bit of space and I want to use my self-reference and then text. Recall that text is is a method where our iOS programs always know the value that they're working with. So then I'm just going to reference self and then whatever lives in user output. And I'm going to grab that text or set that text, pardon me. Um, equal to whatever the user entered in user input. And now I'm ready to build and run this using the iPhone simulator and see how it looks. Now if I just enter in my name in the input box, click the talk to me button, and you'll notice the string is telling me good morning Heidi. In this tutorial you learned a little bit about output and actions using the iOS framework.